Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing OP Italy on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI, so let's get into it. First, we're going to go Army Primacy. That's going to give us two military factories and boost to land doctrine. Second, get the pause button ready. We've got all the research lined up as such. We need fighters to control the skies. We need logistics because logistics are really important now. Electronic mechanical engineering to get radio and basic machine tools to buff our industry. All right, moving along. Uh, the trade, we're going to be negative five deficit on rubber. And then construction, we are going to have uh, all mills. Okay, pause here. Our production lines are going to look like this and uh we'll catch up on some production and the big thing here is to upgrade your fighter as soon as you can um, we don't want too many interwar fighters out but if you do start producing interwar fighter that's okay two on cast is going to give us enough cast moving up to three and then i deleted all the battleships out of the battleship queue here out of the naval queue we are producing the cheapest destroyer that we have available to us so you click on show outdated equipment click on the dds and then get the 840 destroyer basically a floating bathtub it's got everything that we need and uh, it's going to be a huge meat shield for our navy next i took all the air organized them into 100 with air wings and we're putting them in north africa We're going to grind Italy without using air power at all. And that way our ground forces will be able to grind. It's going to be organizer on Graziani. So I put 19 divisions in Cavallero and then I put 20 with Presca. We now have two fallback lines, one in North Ethiopia missing this port and then one in South Ethiopia missing this port here. So we will bypass Ethiopian logistics after the Ethiopian divisions have taken those two areas. Okay. Let's get these guys zooming back to their starting positions. And the first part of this video is gonna be a grind. If you already know how to grind, you could skip ahead 10 minutes and we'll be done. So everyone's going back to their starting positions. Note that I am not going to go uh, to change motorization priority. And we're stacking all of our divisions in Ethiopia. So they actually get low supply because this is going to help us grind more. Now to get organizer. We need battle plans. An organizer will give us the opportunity to get logistics wizards. So we just bypassed Ethiopian logistics. That gives us the green light to start grinding here. You can put everyone up on the line. Just make sure that they have battle plans. The battle plans do not have to be turned on. We'll let these guys come over here real quick. There we go. Perfect. So you don't have to turn those battle plans on if you don't want. The other thing that I forgot to mention, we are going Intel agency. And we're going to try to get collabs on France because collabs on France are OP. We'll see how many we can get off. And then the goal is to go Marinostrum. So essentially, we're taking all the states around the Mediterranean and part of the UK. Realize Roman ambitions is what that's called. So we're just going to sit here, make sure all the green bubbles are doing their thing. Grind. 
Roz is already starting to get organizer trait. And so what I'm doing here with the attacks is I'm control alt right clicking. Let's get this guy up in France. Control alt right clicking and then I'm turning off the red attacks that the red attacks will push. Like that looks like he already moved out. The blue attacks will not push. Okay, so let's take this guy. He can support attack, and then we'll turn off the rest, and the support attack cancels. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work. They tried to fix that. Okay, so we got Army Primacy, Industrial Effort, and we're going to justify war goal against Albania. And then as soon as we have enough political power, we will justify a war goal against the United States. So we need 48 more political power, so that's going to take a while. So you're probably asking yourself, why justify a war goal against the United States? That is to bring UK into There we go. Oh, it canceled the support attack. I guess you could only support attack with one, probably. Huh, game is glitched, but we'll persevere. There we go. Let's see if we'll hold it. Nope. Okay, we want the UK to back Albania. So after that happens, we should be good. Once that happens, we can declare war against the allies. And then take the allies out early and then go Mare Nostrum. Let's see if we can have this happen. This is super weird that this is happening. Okay, so these guys are pushing. Can they support attack? They can. Let's see what they're doing in the south here. Okay, we got some territory. Just keep the support attacks going as much as possible. The out of supply is good. That benefits us. Okay, so we can get a cipher. Probably the easiest one to get a cipher off on is France. Got our first spy up there. We need a total of five upgrades to our intel agency and then we'll get the second spy and then we'll be able to get the collaboration government against france huh the support attack feature is not working 100 percent all the time weird Okay, go for radio as soon as you can. And we're just going to keep going down the left side of the focus tree here because that's going to give us all the mills and sieves that we need. And then let's see if we could justify a war goal on Puerto Rico. One more political power. And voila. Now we have to just keep an eye on Albania here. Okay, there it is. So Albanians independence is guaranteed by the United Kingdom. That's what we we're waiting for. So now we can literally stop justifying. So let's cancel the justification. And then 
the guarantee is still upheld. So the next thing we need to do, we cancel the justifications to make the new war goal against the allies here quicker. So it looks like we need 45 or 46. So we need to pause at 45 or 46. Okay, so we'll continue grinding. I am not sure what's up with the Ethiopians today. I thought they had more divisions than this. This looks really weird. Okay, that out of supply is encouraging. So we're grinding. And we're almost up to the point where it's the Spanish Civil War. We've got 45 army XP so far. That's great. That's fantastic. Let's keep pushing them back. Okay, here's the other divisions. And we should get our second spy. Perfect. Okay, we're waiting for like 46. Let's keep hitting up these guys from the north. And let's push a little bit closer to the capital. Graziani is 61% done with organizer. That looks great. And there's Spanish Civil War. We will not be able to participate in Spanish Civil War because we're in our own war. Okay, doctrines are available. What we should do with this is... The political power would probably be the best for us. So we're going to do state serves military. And then the second thing we're going to do is political loyalty. So we should get that fairly quickly. And political loyalty is going to increase our stability quite a bit. If our stability is lower than 46%, there's a chance that we could get strikes. Or I'm sorry, if it's, I think it's war support. Someone can help me out in the comments with that. If we are at war... With less than 50% war support, I believe there's a chance of strikes. But anyways, that stability helps out quite a bit. We'll go dispersed industry there. And we'll get the extra research slot and we'll do machine tools with that. Okay, so we got the Ethiopians on the run here. We're kind of letting them... Gather their strength a little bit before we push again. And we should be able to get the collab right off here. Commence when ready and prepare. So that will take equipment. Let's uh, make operations our priority for the equipment usage. That way we'll be able to fire off that collab on time. It's going to take 90 days to set it up. And we're still grinding. Okay, let's get that war goal against the UK just a few days late here. So that war will take place March 25th, 1937. All right, perfect. So the earlier that you could get that off, the better. I probably delayed that. You could get that a few days earlier. That's okay. You don't get it exactly on time. 
And then all you need to do to end this war is take the Ethiopian capital and it'll be over. But we're trying to grind here as long as possible. Okay, we got a little encirclement there. It's okay. And we'll just start to move up. Let's check out Graziani. 91% to organizer. And it's going to be so important that he gets organizer. Because after he gets organizer, he's going to be able to help out supply so much. And after the no step back DLC, supply is so important. Supply consumption, negative 15%. That is massive. So we've only almost achieved our goal here. We could even attack the capital. And I'll just keep my finger on H. So that we could stop this attack if necessary. And as soon as we get Organizer, which we almost have, we can actually just finish off Ethiopia because we don't want to lose that much equipment. Got him. Okay. So we can literally just push the capital here in the war. And we it looks like we got some goodies on our other generals as well. And we're pretty much done grinding after that. All right, so we have a logistics company. Let's go ahead with improved machine tools and we need radios already getting taken. Let's see what else would be high impact. Fighter two is a little expensive right now. So we got that fighter one. So we're going to get we're going to be able to get the upgrade. Logi and NG is a little expensive. Let's just go for support weapons one. It's not going to help that much, but it'll be something. And then let's put the fighter into production. Okay, so the better fighter is in production. Let's take a look at our stockpile here. Kind of low on equipment. And what I need to do is take the artillery out of the mountain division or division templates or just the base division templates. And then we're going to give AA to our mainline template at the top. Okay, we'll go Italian highways. Let's make sure we're getting all the industry here. I suppose we could get construction. It's 271 days. This is 424. That's kind of on the cusp of what's actually worth it. Let's go for rail guns and see if we can't pump a few of those out because that's going to help us with our pushes quite a bit. And just keep up the attack wherever you can. I'm just trying to end this war so we can get planes to Spain. So we're going to puppet this off. We don't need any of the Ethiopian territory to claim Mare Nostrum to realize Roman ambitions. So this is kind of what you see here. We need Belgium, Portuguese states in Europe, Swiss, Iraq, Turkish, Bulgarian, Greek, Yugo. You get the idea. Luxembourg, Tyrol, Aelfold. So Tyrol is in Austria, Brabant. All those different places. And I believe it is controls all British states in Egypt, the Middle East, and the Eastern Mediterranean. So something to bear in mind. Controls all French states in Europe, North Africa, and Middle East. Okay, so we got to take all the states around um, the Mediterranean. Send volunteers. We'll send air volunteers. And let's get a couple of these boys over there. We'll send the tax per usual. So if you want to know how many you could send, we have sent 88 of 145. It says it right there on the airport, so that's kind of nifty. Okay, so those will go over there. We bypass Triumph in Africa. In March, we're looking at March. Let's start upgrading 
all the generals. Graz has organizer. Get the infantry expert. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is set our battle plans to aggressive. Change it to motorization priority. And then we are going to ask to join faction with the German Reich. So let's take uh, Cavalero's crack troops here. And we'll have them attack England with an amphibious landing. We do have to worry about our oil here a bit. Wow, these divisions ground really well. They're going to perform really well in combat. Okay, so those guys will head over there. We'll create a fallback line here in uh, Bremen in Wilhelmshaven to get those troops over there. Let's handpick our North Africa troops. The infrastructure is not that great, so let's use the Colonial Divisions and the horse divisions. And we're going to make a line here, a battle plan to attack North Africa. So those guys will get in position. The rest of the guys go to Germany to prepare for the invasion of the UK home island. get these guys over the port perfect okay so those guys will fall into place we're going to save our political power the first thing that we're probably going to need is the infantry alfredo guzzoni wow it looks like the regrouping specialist is uh at a discount 50 political power and we're grinding that XP in Spain. It would be better if we spread out these air wings here. There we go. And then we'll really start grinding XP. All right, so everyone's getting into place. Let's get the, uh, let's show you how I set up the Navy. So we have one main fleet. We're gonna take them over to Wesserems. We've got a sub fleet. Let's go ahead and take them to Schwig Holstein. And then we're gonna use Iachino for the sub fleet. And we're gonna use Zara for the main fleet. And I've separated, this is a destroyer. There's eight destroyers. And then everything else is in um, a separate task force. And then we just kind of spread out the subs a little bit. Let's make sure that we upgrade them with a concealment expert and smokescreen specialist. We want to make sure that we give these uh, ships a chance to retreat if necessary. And as you can see, moving the fleet costs a lot of oil. So we might have to start trading for oil here shortly. Okay, let's check on the spies. Collab government still in preparation. Let's make sure it's got enough equipment. It almost has enough equipment. We're starting to grind away uh, some of those mills. Almost caught up on most of the, th the needs that we have. I'm a little worried about truck. Let's just uh, back off that motorization priority. We definitely don't have enough trucks yet. I'll just back this off and then I'll have to put it back to normal later. We did take all the tank divisions and turn them into division coloniales, just to let you guys know. And the first thing that I like to do with the air XP is 
I like to go independent Air Force, and then we can pick up a ton of air advisors. And there's a multitude of reasons why that's good. So we could start grinding air here uh, as soon as we have enough command power. But let's upgrade Iachino here. It's probably best to hold political power because we're going to start justifying war goals on everyone after we get the war goal off on the United Kingdom. So we have to worry about we touch United Kingdom right here. And then we just have everyone else go to the home island. Of course, we're going to have to take the tax back over. What do we have in stockpile here? We got a few tax. That's fine. Okay, let's move these boys up to Germany. And we will prospect for some oil. That oil will be much appreciated. I don't think we can get around it anymore. We're going to have to trade for some oil. Might as well trade with the UK since we're about to take them over. Get our oil stockpile as high as we can. And we're just waiting on command power so that we could fill up our military staff here. Okay, we need infantry expert. 100%. So let's take him first. And we've saved political power to justify war goals on various countries. Mainly you want Austria because what's going to happen is Germany is going to take out Austria. So you want to make sure you nab that and then Greece will take out Albania. So you want to make sure that you get war goals off on both of those countries. Oh, which makes me realize I need to have troops on the Austrian border. 360 days, starting to get worthwhile there. Um, let's take like these guys and put them on the Austrian border. Okay, so they'll head, head over there, and then we could actually take the two remaining divisions and just put them with Cavallero. Move them into Wilhelmshaven. Where else could we steal from? North Africa? We got eight divisions up here. Do we really need eight? Let's take a couple extra. This type of micromanagement is really necessary too, guys. I hate to say it. So we'll have less troops in North Africa. Okay, for some reason, there's a sub hanging out over here. Okay, he's going to move into position. Almost up on fuel. Okay, making sure I got smoke screen on him. Okay, Cypher for France is done. And we're getting that collab government off, so that looks great. Uh, pfft, let's start getting a Cypher on someone else. Uh pfft. Probably like Yugoslavia would be good. A collab or two off on Yugoslavia would be nice too. I'm not sure if there's enough time to get another collab off on France actually. And as you can see, we are just pumping up the air experience and there's a lot of air experience guys here that we have available to us right now. Um, ace generation chance 5%. Bad weather penalty, and he also grinds a little better too. 0 0.09. Let's go pick up Italo Balbo. And then we're going to hold political power.
March 25th. Okay. Almost there. And we prospected for some oil. That's going to help out quite a bit. We don't need Libyan infrastructure. What I'm more worried about is getting fighter two. So let's get air innovations going. Okay. Collab is off. Let's put the spies in Yugo. You want to keep the spies ahead of wherever the war is going to be, right? And then it seems like we've ground enough air XP. Let's take these guys off. Put them in the North Sea. Let's see what else we could pick up here. Okay, it looks like we could start picking up some doctrine. Alternatively, we could do centralized control for the air mission efficiency and the fighter detection. I kind of like that. I'll favor that one. And we, we have enough political power so that we could pick up another military staff member. I kind of like the ground support guy here. And all those guys are going to grind out air XP for us. Okay, March 25th is coming up. We're out of the Spain war. Boom. Okay, we got the justification on the UK. Is everyone here? These guys are a little overstacked. No big deal. We'll just spread them out. We need to stop trading with the UK. Start to trade with Romania. Actually, uh, Iran should be a land route. We'll see if they uh, start taking out the oil from Romania, though. We'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure that it's a sea route from here over. Let's turn that off then. I don't know why they don't do a land route. I think Paradox fixed that, so it was a little tougher for the access to get oil. Rubber, we're just going to have a deficit on. There's really no one that we could safely trade with. It's okay. Just waiting for these planes to get over. Okay, we're going to put our navies on naval invasion support. It's important to take the sub-navy as well so that you have enough naval power so that you'll be able to get the amphib landing off right away. We do not want our opponent to be able to react to what we're doing. So we'll declare war here. And then immediately we can justify war goal on Austria. That's going to take 25 days and five political power. Then we will do the same for Albania with 65 days. We'll just wait. It'll be quicker if we get the war goal on Austria, then get it on Albania. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so right off the bat, it fires. And as soon as these troops go into the next air zone, you got to follow them. So they are pretty much caught with their pants down here. This is looking really good for us. We got the air up over there. And then they have a big airport that's right there. They catch me out. Okay, they're going to take Corsica. What's going on? Are they bombing me? Oh, they're going to take. I forgot to do this. Okay. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. That's fine. That's soaking up their troops. It's all good. Okay, now if we could get attack or two to do a mission over South England, that would be amazing. Okay, and we got the airport already. So it's a thousand. I don't even think we have a thousand worth of air power. Let's get everyone over here. You 
It might screw up our supply just a little bit, but that's going to be okay. And actually, we could have put Logi 1 into some of our divisions. We couldn't. We have a massive deficit on support equipment. As soon as these guys are landed, cancel their battle plans. We need these guys to strike out in all directions here. Actually, let's take one of these guys. Let's take this guy and have him go there. Okay, green air over UK home island. So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, the subs... After we get Dover, can transition into more of a like monitoring role. Like, so what they're gonna do is convoy raid. Okay, and this is looking really healthy. Let's get the uh, the old encirclement on this division here. And it looks like through magic. More divisions have spawned over in the middle of England there. So they must have just kicked those divisions out to help with this amphibious invasion that they're facing right now. Let's have him like go over there. Still don't have Dover. Okay, we have Dover. Now, let's tie up the English Navy with subs. And we will convoy raid... Okay, that should be good. We'll take the remainder of Cavalero's forces and then get them across to Dover, the closest port. I guess you could say this port's a little closer, the London area port. Let's just get the boys face north. So these guys are going to need to control B to go quicker. Do we have that war goal on Austria yet? Still grinding it. Okay, those guys are going to come across as well. And the subs are going to fly around and stop the English divisions from displacing in ports, things like that. So that's a really handy trick for you guys. Okay, so those divisions in the north are displacing south. As you can see, they move really quick. Just making sure we have all the air in the appropriate areas. Okay, they've recovered. So they got a lot of air over England. That's why we're not pushing as well. Let's get all these guys up on the battle plan here and going. Please strategically redeploy. Thank you very much. Uh, no more upgrades on the generals that I'm looking at. And of course, we could have gone down here as well. Okay, they're pushing us back a little bit. No big deal. We'll declare war on Austria. And then we will justify our war goal with our claim state on Albania. 
And all we need to do with Albania is take attack bomber. Take a smaller wing. And make sure to strap on them to bring them into the peace conference war. To bring them into the peace conference, sorry. Let's, uh, Lodgy stri let's strat bomb them. I think that's the way it works. So it doesn't matter if we actually capture any of this stuff since we're taking UK home island. We literally just need to push them into the battles. Let's get control of the airports. Oh, this poor guy got caught out, apparently. Okay, we'll just keep going with the uh, weapons there. We're grinding along here. Got Dispersed Industry 1. We'll go into Dispersed Industry 2. And then let's make sure to buff our building here in uh, the home island. We want to make sure that the home island in the uh, home peninsula, I guess. Want to make sure that we uh, build in all the high infrastructure areas. And we want to make sure that we are just clicking forward as quickly as possible. Deny the enemy its airports. That's for sure. And the UK home island is pretty much going to be taken here. So I don't think that we need to worry about that. Let's go for those airports. Deny the enemy mission efficiency. Okay, we could declare on Albania. And then we could justify a war goal on France. We got that one collab off on France. Okay, so Albania joins the Allies. France joins the United Kingdom. That's a little premature, but that's okay. Maybe we could get them all in one war goal. I don't know. In one peace conference, rather. We'll see. Okay, so we'll take Plymouth. And we don't have this border defended. This might end in disaster. We'll have to see what's going on here. Uh, we could take half of these guys and then just make them speed bumps over here against France. We'll see what happens. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, red air everywhere. Let's get claims on Yugo next. We might have bitten off more than we could chew here. We'll see. All right, you know what could help? Actually, we're not even on high motorization priority. I just realized. And I don't think that we have enough trucks anyways, but we're not really having problems. So it looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, let's go. So we got the guns. It would be nice to get Logi 2, but that looks like it's going to be too expensive. Let's go ahead and start on Fighter 2. We're going to get a lot of value out of that. And uh, let's start getting like formation flying, stuff like that, because we're going to go ground support. Oh, 
Okay, we're just clicking ahead here. The UK uh, is done. Czechoslovakia is going to go up against us now. All right. And uh, we will save this for the next time. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, in the continuation war here, we're going to try to capitulate France. So let's see who the majors are. The UK is one of the majors and France is the second major. So we could take out France with an amphibious landing here in the north of France, and then we should be able to get everything. We'll see how that goes. This is a very bold strategy. It's very risky, but I think that it's gonna work out great. So we'll just have to see what happens in the next video. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.